Hello viewers, so welcome to my channel. I am Hashem Ali Khan. So now in this video, I am going to explain you about the different types of demand. Last video, I have explained you the meaning, definition, factors affecting or determinants of demand and demand function. So if you have not watched the earlier video, I suggest you to go to the playlist of my channel. Select the subject business economics, unit number two, demand analysis. Watch the first video, be acquainted thorough with the concept of demand. Without understanding the meaning of the term demand, you cannot understand the remaining part of demand analysis. So that's why first video is very, very important. Now in this video, I'm going to explain you about the different types of demand like price demand, income demand, cross demand, all these things because very frequently in examination question will be asked explain the different types of demand take a screenshot of the points which I have written on the board then I'll explain all the different types Come on. Now I'm going to explain you the different types. The question which may be asked in examination is explain the various types of demand. The first is price demand. The relationship between price and demand. It says it shows the various quantities of a commodity purchased by a consumer at different prices in a given market. That means a consumer will buy the goods at different prices. How much quantity? How much quantity of goods will be purchased by a consumer at different prices? At different prices. So there is relationship between price and demand. The demand depends on price. The price demand shows what are the different quantity purchased by a consumer of goods at different prices. At different prices, what are the different quantities purchased by a consumer? in a given market that is called price demand in this context it is assumed that price of a commodity is the only one determinant of demand and assuming the other determinant the determinants are constant when we study price demand we assume that the demand depends only on price the other factors are assumed as remaining constant in the previous video, I have explained you that demand will depend not only on price. It will depend on the income of the people. It will depend on the preferences and uh, taste and habits of the consumers. It depends on the prices of substitutes. It depends on advertisement. So many factors are there. But here in price demand, we assume all other factors are remaining constant. Only demand depends on the price. That's it. That is our assumption. Now the relationship between price of a commodity and the quantity demanded is given by given below. So for this price demand, the mathematical function is demand is equal to function of price. D, dx is equal to function of px. Where dx is the demand for x commodity. X is the name of the commodity. So demand for X commodity is equal to function of price of X commodity. That means demand depends on the price. As the price changes, the demand will also change. This, this is what this mathematical expression will explain. Now we can show this demand function, price demand function in a graphical diagram. So in a diagram, it will be shown on X axis, I'm taking quantity demanded on Y axis. I'm taking the price. So if you plot the points regarding different quantities at different prices, because just now I told you the quantity uh, demanded depends on the price. As the price changes, the quantity demand will also change. So if you plot the pairs of demand and price on a graph paper, we will get this curve. This curve is called demand curve. 
is it is a downward moving curve curve from left to right indicating there is a inverse relationship between price and demand inverse relationship means opposite when the price increases the demand will decrease when the price decreases the demand will increase this will be shown in this graph now see carefully at p1 price when the price is p1 this is the p1 price the quantity demanded is q1 q1 from o to q1 origin to q1 this is the quantity demanded at what price p1 suppose if the price decreased from p1 to p2 p1 to p2 the quantity increased from q1 to q2 see here when the price is decreased from p1 to p2 the quantity has increased from q1 to q2 increased suppose further the price decreased to p3 further price decreased to p3 the quantity increased to q3 so when p3 is the price q3 is the quantity when p2 is the price q2 is the quantity when p1 is the price q1 is the quantity so from this you uh, i mean graph you can deduce that as the price is decreasing the quantity is increasing here price from p1 to p2 p2 to p3 it is de decreasing here quantity is increasing from q1 to q2 q2 to q3 so this diagram will explain you about the price demand function that's it so this is the explanation about the first type of demand that is price demand the next demand is income demand that means what is the demand what is the quant uh, quantity demanded of a particular commodity at different levels of incomes at different levels of incomes what is the change in the quantity demanded in the previous video i have explained you the demand does not depend only on price one more factor or determinant is there called income the demand will also depend on the income of the consumers normally when the income of consumer increases the demand will also increase if the income of consumer decreases the demand will also decrease that is the normal i mean procedure now here it refers to that means income demand income demand refers to various quantities of a commodity that a consumer purchases at different levels of his income here at different prices at different prices what the consumer is demanding the commodity here what are the different quantities demanded at different income levels at different income levels so income demand shows the relationship between quantity demanded and income as the income changes the quantity demanded will also change right now in this context it is assumed that other determinants are constant we assume that demand depends only on income it does not depend on other factors we are assuming here in income demand now the in uh, the income demand is given by the following function d is equal to function of i that means demand for commodity depends on the income of the consumer that's it this is the income function now the income effect varies for different goods as follows see here the demand for different commodities will have different income demand effect because all the goods are not same we have different types of goods so for different types of goods different income demand is there here price demand only one but income demand it depends on the variety of goods so we have divided the goods into two categories inferior goods and superior goods normal goods and inferior goods normal goods and inferior goods for normal goods there is a direct relationship normal goods there is a positive relationship as the income of a person increases the demand for goods will also increase income increases demand will also increase income decreases demand will also decrease this is for normal goods for normal goods the so demand increases as income increases similarly demand decreases as income decreases there is a positive relationship between income and demand so it can be de de depicted on the graph paper like this 
the income curve will be upward sloping from left to right sloping upward from left to right indicating that as the income increases the demand will also increase there's a positive relationship here there is negative relationship negative because when the price increases demand decreases here when income increases the demand will also increase when income decreases the demand will also decrease the positive relationship now here with the help of an example i'm going to explain you if the income of the consumer is i1 i1 is the income of the consumer then the demand for the goods is q1 so for i1 q1 right the income increased from i1 to i2 income increased from i1 to i2 so demand quantity demanded will also increase so i2 is and q2 see here from q1 to q2 it is increased the quantity demanded increased when the income increased from i1 to i2 similarly if the income increased from i2 to i3 then quantity increased from q2 to q3 so you can see as the income increases the quantity demanded is also increasing so the slope the demand uh, income curve not demand curve it's a income curve is moving upward income demand curve this is moving upward so the income demand curve for normal goods are has a positive slope positive slope means going upward negative slope means going coming downward this this is regarding the normal goods now inferior goods there are there is some there are some inferior goods where as the income increases the demand will decrease example small cars small cars the demand is there but as the income of the people increases the people will switch from small car to big car then small car will be an inferior good a big car is a superior good so what will happen when the income of the people increases the people will not go for small car they will go for big car then the demand for small car will increase will decrease the demand for small cars will decrease another example i'll give you suppose there is a demand for bicycles bicycle when the income of the people increases they will switch over from bicycles to bikes from bicycle to bikes so as the income of the people increases bicycle will become inferior good the demand for inferior good will come down so there is a negative relationship between income and inferior goods as the income increases the demand for inferior goods will come down negative here for normal goods there is positive income and demand positive relationship but for inferior goods there is negative relationship coming downward so for inferior goods the demand increases the income uh, decreases demand increases and vice versa so income increases demand will decrease and vice versa opposite if the income decreases demand will increase this will be shown with the help of the curve same curve what we have done what we have done for price demand so this is the downward sloping curve indicating when the income is i1 demand for inferior goods is q1 when the income decreased from i1 to i2 the quantity of demand increased to q2 when the income further decreases to i3 then the quantity of demand had increased to q3 so as the income is decreasing the demand is increasing for inferior goods so this is upward sloping the normal goods the demand slope is upward moving positive whereas for inferior goods it is downward sloping showing negative relationship inverse relationship that's it this is all about income demand now third type of demand is cross demand the cross demand is applied for related goods there are many related goods where the price of one commodity uh, the change in the price of one commodity will leads to the change in demand of another commodity two separate commodities are there a commodity b commodity if there is a change in the price of a commodity automatically there is a change in the demand for b commodity 
तो प्राइस ऑफ ए इज चेंजिंग लीडिंग टू डिमांड ऑफ बी इज चेंजिंग सो ए एंड बी आर कॉल्ड रिलेटेड गुड्स रिलेटेड गुड्स तो क्रॉस डिमांड एक्सप्लेन्स द प्रोपोर्शनेट चेंज इन डिमांड ऑफ ए कमोडिटी ड्यू टू ए प्रोपोर्शनेट चेंज इन द प्राइस ऑफ बी कमोडिटी when a and b are related to each other cross demand refers to the change in the quantity demanded of a commodity change in the quantity demanded of a commodity with respect to the change in the price of related goods the demand of one commodity is changing due to the change in the price of the related goods the related goods may be substitutes or complementary goods the related goods can be classified into substitute and complementary substitute means either a or b the people will consume either a or b not both they are called substitutes complementary goods the people want both one is not enough they want a as well as b that is called complementary goods and both substitutes and complementary goods are related goods in this context the determinants other determinants than prices related to goods assumed to be constant again as usual in case of price demand we think that we assume that quantity demand depends on price in income demand we assumed that demand depends on income other things remaining constant here in cross demand also we assume that the quantity of a product depends only on the price of the b product other things remaining constant that is our assumption now the cross demand is expressed as d is equal to function of p1 p2 p3 up to pn so d d stands for demand of the commodity and p1 p2 p3 p4 up to n is are the prices of related goods so this is the demand function for cross demand now the cross demand is different for substitute and complementary goods just like for income demand income demand we have normal goods and inferior goods similarly for cross demand we have two types of goods substitutes and complementary so both we have separate i mean uh, demand function so first we will take substitute when the price of a given commodity increases the demand for its substitute increases vice versa positive in case of substitute if the price of a commodity increases the demand for b commodity will also increase a increase b also increase a decrease b also decrease positive relationship which type of goods substitute so here i have given one example for example a decrease in the price of coffee a decrease in the price of coffee will, will decrease the demand for tea when the coffee is becoming cheaper than tea the people will come to coffee only very few people will go to tea the demand for tea decreases simply the price of coffee decreases the demand for tea also decreases people will switch over from tea to coffee earlier they are consuming tea now they want to consume coffee because coffee has become cheaper coffee and tea are substitute people will consume either coffee or tea right so the demand curve for substitute is as follows now you can see upward sloping direct relationship positive relationship so price of coffee demand for tea on x axis i am taking demand for tea and y axis price of coffee so here when p1 is the price q1 is the quantity demanded p1 is the price of coffee q1 is the quantity of demanded of tea similarly if p, uh, p1 increased to p2 when price of coffee increased then demand for tea will also increase quantity demanded of tea increase from q1 to q2 similarly when the price of coffee increased further to p3 further to p3 then quantity demanded for tea will increase to q3 so what do you observe from this curve as the price of coffee increases the demand for tea is also increasing there is a positive relationship positive slope moving upward so the demand curve for substitute goods slopes upward to the right and has a positive slope direct relationship now complementary goods complementary goods are those goods which are simultaneously required 
Suppose A and B both we require are called complementary goods, not substitutes. So when the price of a given commodity increases, the demand quantity demand of its complementary goods decreases and vice versa. In case of complementary goods, the price of one commodity increases, then the demand for other commodity will decrease when both the are related. Example A and B. When price of A is increasing, the demand for B is decreasing. That is called complementary. Example of complementary goods are petrol and car. If you have only petrol, no car, no use at all. Similarly, if we have car but no petrol, car is useless. So in order to run the car, we need the car as well as petrol. So car and petrol are complementary goods. So here I have given example, petrol and car are complicated. An increase in the price of petrol. Suppose there is an increase in the price of petrol, the demand for car will decrease. Suppose if the price of petrol decreases, the demand for cars will increase. So there is inverse relationship between petrol and car. The demand curve for complementary goods is as follows. Downward sloping. Downward sloping. On Y axis I have taken price of petrol. On X axis demand for cars. Demand for cars. So when the price of petrol is P1. Then the demand for car is Q1. Only small demand because the price is very high. Suppose the price decreased to P2. Then quantity demanded increased to Q2. So when the price decreased from P1 to P2. The quantity increased from Q1 to Q2. Further the price decreased from P2 to P3. Then quantity increased from Q2 to Q3. So there is opposite relationship. Price is decreasing. Quantity is increasing. Opposite. So there is a negative relationship between price and demand. The cross demand curve for complementary goods slopes downward from right from, uh, to the right and has a negative slope. That's it. So I've explained you about the price demand, income demand and cross demand. Huh. So we have completed three types of demand that is price demand, income demand and cross demand. The other types of demand I'm going to explain you from here. This is autonomous or direct demand, company demand and industry demand, individual demand, market demand, joint and composite demand, demand for consumer goods and producer goods, demand for perishable goods and durable goods and short run and long run demand. So before explaining each of the other types of demands, take a screenshot from the point number four to point number 11. So first of all, fourth point, the fourth type of demand is autonomous or direct demand. The demand for a particular product to be directly consumed by the consumer for satisfying his want. Actually, the goods and services we require to satisfy our wants. So when a consumer takes and consumes some goods to satisfy his want, that is called a direct demand. Or autonomous demand so many types of goods are there which satisfy for example I need petrol for my bike so when I purchase the petrol my demand is fulfilled why I have purchased the petrol because I need it I want to go I want to use my bike so suppose if I'm hungry I want food so when I take the food my want will be satisfied so this type of demand which directly satisfies a customer in satisfying his want that is called autonomous demand or direct demand. Similarly, company demand and industry demand. Company demand means the demand of a particular company producing a particular product. For example, we have so many goods, just like higher company which produces uh, air conditioners. So what is the demand for the goods of higher company? So this type of demand is called company demand. Whereas industry demand, that means all the I mean companies which produces the same product, the demand for all the I mean uh, consumers of the same product 
is called a market demand industry demand sorry next comes individual demand when the demand comes from a particular consumer or household or individual to satisfy his want it is called individual demand at a particular price then market demand when the demand for all the consumers in the market because in the market we don't have a single consumer so many consumers are there the total demand of all the consumer in a particular market at a particular price is called market demand joint and composite demand when goods are jointly used there are many cases where we want we, a single want is satisfied by consuming more than one goods for example car petrol we want jointly if we have only petrol there is no use only car no use we want joint product so in order to satisfy our want we want the joint products of two or more goods that is called joint demand or composite demand next comes demand for consumer goods and producer goods consumer goods means the goods which are directly consumed by the people from morning morning till evening we consume a number of items so those goods which directly satisfy a consumer is called consumer goods producer goods are those goods which are consumed by a producer in order to produce some other goods when a producer is consuming the goods to produce some other goods it is called producer goods for example machinery is required by a company to produce the goods the demand for machinery is a producer demand producer goods demand because machinery is not used by individuals it will be used by some producers so it is called a producer goods next comes demand for perishable goods and durable goods if the goods can be used consumed only once it is called perishable goods just like milk butter bread or eatables these are only perishable goods because only once we can consume whereas durable goods are those goods which can be used again and again example a television a air conditioner a car this will be used again and again it is called a durable goods the demand for perishable goods will be different from the demand for durable goods similarly short run and long run demand short run demand means during the short period the price the demand will be affected due to a number of factors due to a number of factors like price advertisement or income so many factors will change the demand of the product during the short run but in the long period of time the demand is more or less similar the demand will not fluctuate in the long run slight changes in demand we notice in the long period but in the short period fluctuations will be more in the demand due to number of factors so totally 11 types of demand i have explained in this video so watch the video till the end every video so i have explained each and every point if you watch the video twice thrice definitely you can boldly write in examination with confidence you can write so not simply for writing the examination but also you can gain a lot of knowledge by watching these videos so if you are satisfied give a like to the video share my channel in your group in your friend circle so that more students can watch the video and enhance the knowledge subscribe my channel apart from that i have also i have already made one more channel by name hans accounting institute so watch the videos in that channel also very informative videos i have prepared and subscribe that channel also inshallah we'll continue our topic of demand analysis in the next video